Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This video is about ACTH test. An ACTH test is a type of blood test. This test measures the level of adrenocorticotropic hormone in the blood. This test should not be confused with an ACTH stimulation test. ACTH is a hormone made by the pituitary gland. The hormone controls the production of another hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is made by the adrenal glands. Cortisol is a hormone with some important jobs. It helps control your blood pressure. Your body responds properly to infections. Break down sugar, fat and protein in your food. Respond to stress. Purpose An ACTH test is often done along with a cortisol test to diagnose disorders of the pituitary or adrenal glands. These include Cushing's syndrome, a disorder in which the adrenal gland makes too much cortisol. Cushing's disease, a form of Cushing's syndrome. Cushing's disease is usually caused by a non-cancerous tumor of the pituitary gland. The tumor makes too much ACTH. This causes the adrenal glands to make too much cortisol. Addison disease, a condition in which the adrenal gland doesn't make enough cortisol. Hypopituitarism, a disorder in which the pituitary gland does not make enough of some or all of its hormones. Your doctor may order an ACTH blood test if you have symptoms of too much or too little cortisol. If you have a high cortisol level, you may have following symptoms. The symptoms of low cortisol include the following. What do the results mean? ACTH is measured in picograms per milliliter of blood. Adults normally have ACTH levels of 10 to 50 picogram per ml at 8 am. The number drops to below 5 to 10 picogram per ml at midpoint. Results of an ACTH test are often compared with the results of cortisol tests and may show one of the following. High ACTH and high cortisol levels. This may mean Cushing's disease. Low ACTH and high cortisol levels. This may mean Cushing's syndrome or a tumor of the adrenal gland. High ACTH and low cortisol levels. This may mean Addison disease, low ACTH and low cortisol levels. This may mean hyperpituitarism. This was all. Thanks for watching.